Hello nurses, this is Kevin with nursingcamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. This is cardiac telemetry camp and cardiac lecture number 43, ECG telemetry breakdown. In my previous lecture, I talked about this sticky note and I can be found on social media, nursing camp uh, and uh, Pinterest, Facebook and otherwise. So when I talked about this, I was talking about that we generally monitor the patient in lead two. And the reason we monitor them in lead two is that um, because it should look like this this um, this uh, ECG tracing okay and that's kind of what we're looking for we talked a little bit about the measurements we talked about the QRS we talked about the PR interval um, now the big thing about this is don't really really go super in depth with studying this content because NCLEX is not going to expect you to, to dissect ECG. They're going to expect you to know the basic understanding and the basic knowledge behind the system. Um, so this kind of this study sheet kind of goes through that basic process, what's going on in all the areas, and we talked about a chronic side versus an acute side. Um, why does a patient get uh, get telemetry? Well, the big thing is is that a patient who gets telemetry is we're looking for problems. We're looking that the patient might have a problem with um, their heart and they need monitoring. And so why are we monitoring? Well, we're monitoring lead two. We're monitoring for ST elevations, which is a STEMI, which is a uh, potential for infarction or an MI. Or we're looking for ST depressions, which is ischemia. It doesn't mean that there's a infarction yet but it definitely means there's a doctor's call you need to do something about that and what do you do and that's kind of what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about getting an EKG so if a patient is having chest pain um, or the patient is on a monitor and you see ST depressions or ST elevations um, that you get an EKG okay and that's a 12 lead because we said that in lead two what we're really looking at is the ventricle. And that ventricle is what we're looking at as far as this main part. That's the left ventricle. And um, that's important because what we really want to see is, is what is going on with this ventricle. Is there any damage? And ischemia says that, listen, the cells are getting stopped. Now we talked about chronic versus acute, chronic being on this side. I'll cover more of that later. However, we're talking more about this acute side. Another thing that we're going to look at is electrolytes and this repolarization section. Repolarize on this side. We said that this was the doctor. So depolarization on this side and repolarization on this side. And peak T waves is elevations of potassium. We'll talk about that in my electrolytes lecture um, where I talk about electrolytes in the ECG. All right, so the next thing is um, telemetry. So when you see a patient is admitted with telemetry, it's about what's going on with the patient. It's usually leading towards an MI. And if a patient is on telemetry and you see this, that's flatline. Um, so you never ever treat the monitor. Okay. Always assess the patient first. Okay. So just because you see something, um, look at what the patient looks like. Okay. Um, because it might not be so. All right. Unless you say a uh, patient's admitted with myocardial infarction and there's an ST elevation. Well, they're telling you that there's an infarction. Okay. Or if the patient's on a treadmill and they're, they are walking on the treadmill and you see an ST depression. Well, ST depression is um, on this side. That's the acute side. So they need to stop what they're doing and sit down and you need to get an EKG. So an EKG is called a 12 lead and a 12 lead is is what we're going to talk about in the next lecture where you know ECG you can only monitor well you can actually monitor more than those leads five leads but more importantly what you're really looking at is the heart and lead two is the ventricle this part of the heart. Lead one is a little bit over here, and then lead three is posterior here. All right, so this is the perfect picture. And in that picture, we should see this, okay? And that is telemetry. So let's do a brief overview of what EKG is. 
Now EKG is a little bit more complex, and I cover this more in my uh, ICU lectures, but this is this diagram. So this is pretty specific. So when you're looking at the EKG, you know, there's a very specific um, uh, placement of the leads. So you'll see that, you know, we still have, you know, the white and red and all that stuff, but when we're doing a 12 lead, we have a very specific placement of these leads. All right. Now, NCLEX doesn't really expect you to know this placement, uh, but they need they want you to know the basic idea of why you're getting a 12 lead and what you're going to see, like ST elevations or ST depressions. So let's talk a little bit about this. Um, so on a 12 lead EKG, what, you, what we said previously is that the heart on, a, on regular telemetry lead two is looking at this part of the ventricle. So that's ECG, that's telemetry. Now, the interesting thing is, is that on a 12 lead, see it breaks it up. So in lead two, it actually breaks it up into different parts. And that's what a 12 lead does. So when you're looking at the heart, a 12 lead basically breaks it up into different parts. And that's the principle that we're talking about. 12 different pictures. 12 pictures of the heart. Where telemetry is only one, two, and three pictures of the heart. Now, yes, there is V5 and V6, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the most, um, most likely. So that's an interesting concept to think about when you are looking at a 12 lead EKG. Is what we're really looking at is the heart broken down into smaller pieces. So when you get an EKG, you are really trying to dissect where is the problem. And in the next lecture, I'm going to talk about 12 lead interpretation and the easy way to look at it. Okay, let's move on. That's it. My name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp. And this is Telemetry Camp, where with the NCLEX, you're not really forced to know too much of this data, but just some basic understanding of what you're seeing and what um, what you need to know. And that's it. Nurse on, we'll talk to you next time.